Another holiday tradition has been put on hold due to COVID concerns. The Hamlet City Council unanimously voted Tuesday to cancel this year's annual Christmas parade. The council made the decision after being brought up by city manager Matthew Christian. The city already cut its contribution to old-fashioned Christmas earlier this year before approving the budget. Although Christian said a decision wasn't imperative for this meeting, Councilman Jason McQueen suggested that a decision should be made on the parade because of the pre-planning that goes into it. Christian then recommended canceling the parade and considering an alternative for the annual tree lighting ceremony, suggesting the city could live stream the event. Councilwoman Abby Covington suggested holding the tree lighting without involving the public. Christian said he would look into alternatives to still have the event without a crowd. In a related note, Christian said that all traditional gatherings for city employees were canceled for the year and requested that the council approve November 30th and December 23rd as additional paid city holidays. Christian said those dates would not significantly impact city services such as garbage collection. McQueen also asked what the city planned to do about Halloween, with it being just two weeks away. Since the city doesn't sponsor any Halloween activities, Christian said he didn't think the council should make any formal declaration. Business around Richmond County is getting closer to normal since the government imposed shutdown in response to COVID-19. Hudson Brothers Deli held an unannounced soft opening Monday and announced Tuesday that it was back open for the first time since Governor Roy Cooper shut restaurants down on St. Patrick's Day in mid-March. Cooper moved North Carolina into Phase 3 on September 30th. Restaurants were initially allowed to provide takeout services only, but are now able to serve customers inside at 50% capacity. Some local restaurants, including Patton's uh, Sly's Family Diner and Caddy's Chill and Grill, made it through the pandemic on takeout orders until indoor seating was allowed. On the opposite side of the block, Henry's Uptown Cafe has a sign in the door reading that it will reopen on October 26. Picking Walk op reopened its Chinese buffet late last month. Cooper's Phase 3 finally allowed bars to reopen, but with only outdoor seating. Some private clubs like the Hideaway Tavern were able to open back in June if they served food, while other bars remained closed. Double Vision plans to reopen October 17th with a social distance party featuring country singer-songwriter Justin Anderson on the outdoor stage. Rockingham Police Officer James Hooks received the Medal of Valor on Tuesday for a successful de-escalation of an incident this summer involving an individual wielding a firearm. During the presentation of the award, Chief Billy Kelly said that he strongly believes that Hooks' actions saved an individual's life. According to a press release issued by the department following the incident, a concerned citizen had notified police on July 2nd that a man was driving around in a burgundy van, waving a gun out of the window and cursing at people. Officers reportedly found 35-year-old Reginald Dion Wall outside the van near the corner of Randolph and Franklin Streets, which is not far from the police station. Police say they tried to de-escalate the situation with Wall pointing a gun at them. Wall reportedly walked into the street and again pointed his gun at officers and loosened off a shot as Hooks charged at him to take him down. No officers were injured in the incident. When we return, we've got your Live at 5 weather report. It's coming up after the break, so stay tuned. JC's in Rockingham has you covered for used appliances, parts, trailers, and storage. We have one of the largest selections of reconditioned washers, dryers, and refrigerators in the Sand Hills, and we offer free delivery to residents inside Richmond County. Come check out our variety of trailers for any hauling job and our storage buildings for the things you need out of the weather or house. We also carry parts and accessories for appliances, trailers, truck beds, and can order the things you need. That's JC's on South Hancock Street in Rockingham. McNair Auto Sales is the place to buy your pre-owned car, truck, or van. To be the best, it takes big selection, friendly staff, and great pricing. We guarantee a no-hassle buying experience, and financing is available right on site. So come see us today. We're located at 1026 East Broad Avenue in Rockingham. And remember, with over 40 years of experience, you know McNair is the name you can trust. 
Are you spending your money paying tuition and fees to a large university just to have your college student take the general education courses online? Come to Richmond Community College where your student will have local instructors, free tutoring, and access to services. Our transfer classes are acceptable at every university in North Carolina. We offer a clean, safe atmosphere specializing in individual student attention and small classes at a fraction of the cost. At Richmond County Hospice, we strive to provide high quality care to our patients and their families. Whether it's the incredible hospitality at the Haven House or from the comfort of your own home, you can count on hospice to be there for you. We also offer monthly grief support groups and our chaplain will be there to hold your hand in prayer. Through our amazing staff and our volunteers, hospice has made difficult times easier for our community. Call the number on your screen if you feel that you or your loved one may benefit from our services. Richmond County Hospice, peace, comfort, dignity. Your Live at 5 weather report is brought to you by Sunset Slush of Richmond County, located here in downtown Rockingham. Happy Wednesday, everybody. Hope you're having a wonderful day today. Uh, so far, it's been looking a lot chillier than it was yesterday in the past couple of days. In fact, as we're looking at tonight, we are seeing cooler temperatures, significantly cooler temperatures than what we expected for yesterday evening. Uh, instead of being in the 70s by 7 o'clock, we'll be in 67 territory. 9 o'clock, it's going to be 66, like we saw yesterday, it'll be 60 tonight. So temperatures are going to be a lot more cooler than what we saw last night. Also, sunset is just one minute earlier than yesterday at 6.44 p.m. And waning crescent moon phase will be out tonight, but it'll just be a sliver of that moon that you'll be able to see out there as it gets into its new moon phase. Now looking at the uh, highs and lows for tomorrow, we'll be expecting to see some warm temperatures continuing on and not a whole lot of cool weather at all for tomorrow. A lot of sunny skies, no clouds in sight, uh, and looking at Fayetteville, high of 79, low of 65, Rayford, high of 77, low of 64. Down in Robeson County, it'd be a high of 80 and a low of 65, with Warrenburg seeing a high of 79 and a low of 66. Back here in Richmond County, LRB will be seeing a high of 77, a low of 64, with Rockingham and Hamlet seeing a high of 78 and a low of 64. Uh, Waysboro will be seeing the same temperatures as Rockingham and Hamlet, and Bennettsville, high of 78, a low of 66. Now taking a look at the seven-day forecast, we're still expecting rain to pop up on Friday, and that day is expecting to see a 60% chance of showers, high of 75, a low of 48. So we get into Saturday, sunny skies all day long, high of 65, low of 43. Uh, that is pretty much our coolest day out of this seven day forecast. So going from really warm weather that we're seeing right now to a wet day on Friday to a cool day on Saturday. And it's gonna start climbing back up once again, once we get out of the weekend. Sunday, high of 69, low of 51. Monday, party class guys, high of 75, low of 57. And then on Tuesday, it goes up a little bit by high of 76, low of 59 and again climbs up again on Wednesday high of 77 low of 60 so we're going to be seeing some temperatures returning again we're going to have a slight cool down over the weekend and then it's going to jump right back up in the middle of next week and that's going to do it for the Live at 5 weather report and for tonight's edition of Live at 5 of course for the latest news sports and events happening in Richmond County you can always visit richmondobserver.com or you can download the free RO app for your mobile devices Part of the live crew and Russell Parker. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you tomorrow. Good night, Richmond.